Hi everyone. The tank is now five months old. It's starting to uh, look good. You know, if you've been following me, I've had some problems with a few SPS bleaching, but I've turned on my lights and uh, I'm noticing some color back on the corals that were losing color. So uh, parameters uh, right now are about uh, uh, 8.9 alkalinity, 430 calcium, 139 magnesium. Nitrates are kind of detectable now. I haven't uh, have been feeding heavily and haven't done a water change and now my nitrates are around two parts per million, uh, which is good. Uh, I've heard that you need a little bit of nitrates in the water uh, for the corals to have uh, good colors. Phosphates are almost undetectable. They're about 0 0.009 uh, parts per billion. Uh, temperature 78, pH hovers between 8 to uh, 8.2. All right, I'll take you through a quick tour of the SPS. Here we have the red planet, which is actually coloring up nicely. That, these was, that, that was one of the corals that was losing color. Uh, the blueberry acro growing and cresting hasn't gone up that much. Uh, the tenuous is kind of, uh, I'm hoping that the change in aquascape will help it a little bit because that was a coral that essentially hasn't, uh, of course, the chromis are photobombing the the frag, uh, but that was a coral that hasn't really grown that much. It hasn't receded either, but um, uh, it was also in getting about 100 par while all the other corals were getting 150, 175. This is the Forest Fire Digitata. The color is kind of fading a little bit. It looked really good when I had the intensity high, but now it's uh, fading and you're losing the little bit of uh, green tips, but I'm hoping that the increase in light that I'm, that I'm phasing out over the next uh, few weeks will help. Behind it here is the Rainbow Monty, and that's been doing great. Great polyp extension and ex it's encrusting and expanding really well. Here we have the Reef Raft Pink Cadillac. It's got a pink base, white tips, and blue polyps. Really great looking thing. It's been growing really well. The Blue Cali Tort. Again, doing well. It's coloring up nicely and uh, it's getting larger, taller, and as well basing out a little bit. Here we have two corals that I really like. The one in the foreground uh, is uh, called Shockaholic. I, I don't know what kind of ac acro it is, but it's uh, definitely an Acropora. And behind it is Reef Raft Orange Passion. This thing is really pretty. It's got lovely orange polyps, a green base, and a blue tip. I also got this other color, which is difficult to see from here, but it's a it's a red millie with green polyps in the back. The Montipora stellata in the back, refrap stellata, is is looking really good and it's branching out nicely. Uh, the blue voodoo. is also still basing up. It hasn't gotten shot up yet, but uh, it's uh, definitely increasing the size of its base. Here we have uh, cold water acro. Uh, that one is browned out a little bit, but I uh, can see from the base it's in encrusting really well and actually the color in the base is starting to uh, look pretty good. So I'm hopeful. Uh, this is the bonsai that almost bleached but you could set this you could see that it's actually becoming more purple so yay something is going on right uh, the green uh, the green slimer it's not getting taller but it's definitely basing out more and it's showing good color this is the tiry pink lemonade again this is a coral that lost that when it almost bleached but it's coming back the colors are you could see a little bit of uh, green on the base and some of the pink tips and then this is pre pretty much my like most colorful core right now and this is the original cali tort that i got this thing when i got it four months ago was just a 
an ugly little brown stick that was tiny and it's it's uh, grown considerably amazing transformation and this little guy I almost gave up on the meteor shower coral again it was just kind of brown it wasn't doing anything I had it in full light and then I essentially tossed it in the crevice between a couple of uh, uh, live rock and uh, and a month ago I kind of found it again and it had this lovely uh, green uh, sheen to it so I mounted in the shade here and it's been doing really well so definitely a coral that should be kept in the shade then we have this fun little guy it's called Mr. Pac-Man it's a smooth skinned deep water acro it's coloring up really nice some zoas beside it here this is your regular fruitopia a little mushroom garden here and and the christmas month okay a little sun tour everything here is uh, pretty much the same uh chato is growing really well so this started out as a thin little ball a uh, couple of uh, I think a month ago and it's definitely increasing so I'm, I'm happy that I, I have it uh, lit uh, on a timer uh, with LED lights and uh, uh, right now the lights are on just to show you but it's on a reverse cycle so uh, when the lights go off on the display uh, the lights on the, uh, on the refugium kick in. The skimmer is the same it's been doing well uh, every now and then I have to kind of shimmy it up a little bit uh, with a crate, uh, it's been overflowing the last couple of days. I think I have some snail spawning. Um, oh, yeah, I'll tell you about my snails in a little bit. Actually, I've, uh, I've seen at least eight new baby uh, black footed crocus snails. Dosing is about the same. I'm dosing uh, alkalinity and calcium at the moment, uh, both uh, uh, from Red Sea, uh, buffer A and B. This little thing is, uh, I guess it's the only new addition, it's the Senai meter. Uh, it measures ammonia, nitrates, sorry, ammonia, oh, I wish it did nitrates, but it measures ammonia, pH, uh, temperature, and uh, the PAR meter, so the PAR meter on the side. Uh, it's very useful as a PAR meter, and I mainly bought it uh, to look at par in my tank but I am finding the pH uh, capability is a bit useful so uh, it's, it's a bit awkward to use uh, I have the standard version which just plugs straight to my Mac uh, unfortunately it doesn't work on a Mac so that was the first annoying thing about this product is I actually had to install Windows uh, on my Mac or not happy Senai make a Mac version uh, but you connect it and uh, there it's telling you the pH is 7.99 the temperature is 79 Fahrenheit uh, temperature is right where I want to be uh, uh, when I first bought the machine the pH was really high so I used uh, a lab grade pH meter and I you could actually not really calibrate the sun eye but you could uh, you could trim it so that way the values on your pH meter match the values in the tank. And uh, my pH uh, ranges from about eight uh, early on in the day uh, to about uh, to about 8.2. Uh, I am monitoring it over the next two days and what I'm hoping is once I get an idea of my pH in the system, that I'll start adding Kalkwasser to my ATO to slightly increase the pH to, to about 8.1 in the day and 8.3 at night. So the average would be about uh, 8.2. We'll see how that goes. Well, thanks so much for looking at my tech and we'll see you next month.